But let's dive right into these specifics, okay? So, um, modern women expect men to take care of them, um, which is absolutely absurd. If you want equality, equality would mean that if you want to be equal to the man in a relationship, then you must provide every single thing he provides in the relationship. So that means you have to split bills. You have to split the bills down the middle, not the man pays. <laughs> Even if you're married, that all bills should be split down the middle if you want to do this modern thing, right? Um, I personally... Um, don't believe that uh, a man taking care of his wife and children has anything to do with tradition or modern, to be quite honest with you. Um, those situations are on an individual basis because, you know, if the woman uh, has a career that is providing and bringing much more income than the man can do with his choice of career or job or whatever it is, then by all means, she should be working and bringing that money in. And not complaining just because you're making more money. That shouldn't matter. When it comes to working together, whatever you bring in is for the family. Exactly. Yeah, because out here in society and this entertainment um, world that we see in this boot box, um, they teach you or oh, the man should be taking care of you. He should have this flashy car. He should wear these flashy clothes or he should have a house. He should have this, he should have that. But they never talk about what what personality they would like. Is he a caring person? Will he be there? Is Will he stimulate your mind? Will, be, will he be attentive to you? What the heck? <laughs> I mean, that's the real values of relationship. So, yes, and to uh, evaluate on that more, uh, the devalue of, of family, it's, it's very alarming and very concerning to me. Um, the way women talk about men is crazy. Now I'm going to home in on women because... Men don't talk about women like this, actually. Um, men want to be loved. Women want to be wanted. There's a little difference in that. Um, but women have been really mean. acting crazy. I mean, mean I, I've seen, I, I watch so, social media sometimes, not as much as she does, but um, sometimes I tune in and... The things that I see women expecting from men is absolutely absurd. I saw a video clip of this guy dropping off some food to his child and the woman took the food from him and threw it threw on it the on floor, floor just because he didn't bring food for her other children. Not his. He only had one child her. with this lady. This lady has multiple baby fathers and multiple children. And she expected him to bring food for all of her children when he just wanted to feed his son. And so she deprived her son of the meal simply because he didn't, and, and not only did she deprive her son of the meal, but she disrespected the father, threw it in his face, mm. was yelling and screaming at him like she, like he is her son. And that's not the case. Um, I've seen clips of of women just really doing some really crazy things. And ISIS used to do some crazy things too. I mean, mm -hmm. so. I was you know, Um The difference with me though, as an alpha male and as a real masculine man is, I'd, I've never taken any of that from ISIS. Mm -hmm. you know, so, so, oh, can I jump in real quick? Yeah. Yes, so, yes, because I, I, I need to comment on this. Yes, so I used to be, <laughs> I used to be mean. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> it's not funny. But anyways, yes, I was doing the jumping in the face, acting ignorant. Pretty much, I was acting like a dude. And, you know, I, I was not in my 
right state of mind. I was acting irrational. And honestly, I can be honest, babe. I was acting irrational for stupid reasons. I, when I think back on it, I'm like, yo, you were really... I got emotional over certain things that didn't make no sense. And because I was emotional over one thing, I became emotional over everything, which didn't even make any sense. And I didn't... And the, the worst thing about it was I never seeked to... Um, to solve the issue and the rage that I was feeling inside of me and the stuff that I was creating <laughs> from one little thing, I started creating a bunch of different things in my head and I just would just get really angry and, and pretty much act like a freaking man. But the good thing is I appreciate my husband for being an alpha man because what I really needed was somebody to, to talk to me, to under, to understand that I'm bugging out and be able to tell me that so that I can see that for myself. And my husband was able to do that for me. So I, he was able to pull me out of that destructive mind state that I was in this what feminist stupid world. And through talking continuously and my husband explains things really well. So I've been learning from him. I'm, you, you can tell by the way we speak. He's really good at speaking and he has this comprehension that's amazing. So him being attentive the way he is, he's paying attention to the way my mind is. And some people do not know what words mean. So my husband started to ask me what certain words mean. Certain words that I thought I knew what it meant and really no, I did not know. So my husband was like, oh, no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> we got to look this up. <laughs> oh, no, this is what this means. I'm like, oh, shit, I've been fucking... What she's, what she's um, explaining is, my wife used to tell me that she's helping, helping me while doing all of this crazy stuff. <laughs> crazy? Right? So one day I decided, I, I said, how do you think you're helping me? Do you even know what the word help means? And she's like, yeah, I know what help means. I'm helping you. <laughs> <laughs> I brought the dictionary to her and showed her what the word means. Now, people use that's and us really. This is a good example of how emotional women are and the fact that their emotions um, disturb their actual logical thinking. All right. So um, the, whole, the whole time she's telling me that she's helping me, I showed her the definition of help. The definition of help means is to make it easier for somebody to do something that is the definition of help to make it easier for somebody to do something if you're not making it easier for somebody to do something you are not helping you're them not helping <laughs> okay that that's the definition of help all right so when I showed her the definition, she realized that she wasn't doing anything to help me. I was being an ass. She was just being an ass. Yeah, she was just yeah. being that. Mm -hmm. So um, then she started to change that. Um, it took some time to change, but she started to change it. Though. Yeah, it, yeah it, it's not like an overnight thing. Well, it can be an overnight thing. But for me, it wasn't an overnight thing because I was just a little too stubborn. But besides that, my husband explaining and then me having, like, understanding, having that comprehension of what he's saying, I decided, yo, I'm messing up. I'm the type of, and, and I feel bad. Like, I, I don't want to treat someone that I love and care about in that type of manner. Because you know what? My husband, I could, I don't really have anything to complain about. I'm like, he's, to me, he's, he's perfect in my eyes. Especially the way, I, I love the way he pays attention and just knows how to solve everything. You don't have to let anything escalate. You can just have a nice conversation where you're not screaming at the top of your lungs. As long as you're explaining and having a conversation and number one yeah, thing well, is resolving the issue so that you can move on. Do not hold on to it. Well, my wife is doing a slight bit of exaggeration because uh aggressiveness oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and sometimes raising your voice has its purpose well that worked with um, me and sometimes i do have to do that with her actually because she's um stubborn, stubborn. so and when i need her to do something <laughs> sometimes i do have to get aggressive with her um because 
I get she'll emotional. be stubborn in what she's doing. If she's being lazy, she'll be stubborn in being lazy. If she's, you know, she just, and so, uh, over the years, I found that um, aggression motivates her. So, and you know that that's the alpha male's actual um, position in the family. He's supposed to do those things. He's supposed to motivate the family in any way that's necessary. Um,